Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the file merge in C programming. File merge means, so we'll be having a one file, so with some content and file two with another content. And we need to merge these two contents and we have to create a one more file so this is nothing but a file one two so in this we have to copy the content of file one as well as the copy of uh, uh, content of a uh, file two right so for this purpose so let it be this is file one dot txt file two dot txt and file one two dot txt so we need to read the content of file one and we have to write the content into the file one two similarly we have to read the content of file two and we have to write the content into file one two so we have to open this in a read mode and this in a read mode and this one in a write mode because we have to create a new file which contains both the contents of file 1 and file 2. So for example here it is welcome and here it is files concept. So this is the content already available in this file 1 and file 2. Now we have to read this one. And I have to write this one. So in order to read the content from the file, uh, any file, so we are having a function called fgetc. So we need to use this fgetc to read content from file. To read content from file. So it will read a single character. It will read a single character. And coming to the writing operation, we have to use fputc. Fputc, it will uh, write its individual character into this file. So we have to read a single character from this one. So get C, F get C of the file pointer one, so that we have to put the same thing in file pointer three. Let it be the file pointer one is this one, uh, file pointer two is the pointer uh, pointing towards the file two, and this is a FP three. So I have to read the content from file one, and I have to write the content into file three. After completion of this, again repeat the same process, so read the character from by using the f get c from the file pointer 2 which points towards the file 2.txt and automatically use the same thing f put c of ch f p that, that means we have to pass the character whatever the character we are reading so that character should be returned to the file pointer 3 right so this is how we have to merge the two file content into a new content so that finally we will get the two contents in a single file. So welcome from file one and files concept from file two. So repeat the same process. Whatever the process we are reading here, the same process is repeated for file two. So first to start with the file one and then repeat the process for file two so that the complete content will be copied into this file, new file, right? So this is how we'll merge the content from two different files to a single file. So I will show you the implementation part. So here we will use a fgetc and fputc functions to read and write the data from the files, right? So before uh, going to the implementation part, I would like to uh, give a, a good opportunity, uh, the online platform where you can start any course from uh, scratch to advanced. So after that, I will show you the implementation part, part of this merge. So we'll see by executing the program by using these two functions, fgetc and fputc. So let's move on to the system. Hello friends. So here I came up with a good opportunity from an academy. So are you a student or a working professional who is looking for a great career in the software development? Then definitely you have to think about a few aspects like what's trending in the industry and the kind of question and answers that will be asked in the interviews and what's the thought process behind the architecture of great applications like Google, Amazon, Zomato, etc, etc and how to improve the uh, coach of ranking. So here is the benefits of this pro. So to crack top brands, tips on technical and uh, interview rounds and how to join the big tech, tech brands and uh, understanding the hiring process and uh, how to improve the uh, coach of profile. So for all these things, the one solution is an academy. Right. So 
an academy is having a lot of host means a lot of creators or educators so who will educate you regarding all these concepts right so here the hosts are working with some of the top companies like google amazon etc etc and they are seven star coders on courtship and industry experts with a lot of years experience and definitely they will walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like hr and industry leaders of top companies where they will clear all the questions raised by you and definitely there will be a live classes conducting by these hosts so to ask the tech hrs about the top 20 interview questions and answers and the industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and mnc's and how to apply how to build such a great product sector etc etc even uh, get your resume and your college or personal projects improved by getting them reviewed by experts sd and definitely there will be a calendar review so this is a weekly calendar for the september 2021 from 20th september to 26th september so at what time who will give the uh live sessions and what is the content you can see this calendar you can follow this calendar right so not only this you can also participate in the mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages cloud computing blockchain and crypto and tech aspects of digital marketing etc etc and let me show you a personal host so one host i will go with the one host and i will show you so let us take this one so this is one host so these are the different sessions taken by this host so this is a one course so getting started with the java and android studio with ash and uh, here the ash would help users understand how the applications which we use on our android phones are made and in these sessions he will take the learners through how to get started with the native android development in detail so the pe the people who are interested to develop the android applications definitely they will be get benefited if you subscribe to this course and this course started on september 14 and it will be keep on moving till the october 5th so why late you can just subscribe to this course by clicking on this subscription button so that uh, uh, here you can find the amount for 12 months 83 rupees per month the total of 999 to be paid as a one time payment and if you use my referral code sandeep10 so you will get a 10% additional discount so that the amount will be reduced to 899 that is a 75 rupees per month so while late just subscribe this course and try to develop the android applications hello friends so just now we have seen how to merge the content of two files into a single file and now we'll see the implementation part by just executing the program so first let me include the header files standard input output dot h and then just we'll write the main function and inside the main function first we need to declare the variables first i will declare the file pointers so we have to read the content from two files and we have to write the content into a single file so we require three files so we need to declare three file pointers i will take fp1 and star fp2 and star fp3 and fp1 and fp2 are the input files and fp3 will be the output file and also we will declare one more one character to read the character from the files now i will open the files so fp1 is equal to in order to open f open the function is f open we need to give the file name so i will give the file name as file1.txt comma in a read mode because already the file is existed so i will show you the file see i will show you the files two files so file1 and file2 so we are having some file1 and file2 you can observe here right so file 1 is having some content hi welcome to c programming and file 2 is having some content welcome to the demonstration of file merge in c programming so we need to combine these two contents into a single file so for that we have to use the, uh, we have to open let me open another file because there there must be two files right so f open i will open the second file also file 2.txt and i will open the same thing in a read mode and i have to open the third file that is a new file so i have to create one new file and i have to place the content of f1 uh, file 1 and file 2 into the file 3 so i will go with the fp3 is equal to so in order to open the file that means uh, you open to the uh, right mode in the right mode or 
if you want to create a file so we have to open the file in a write mode right so file one two okay so dot txt so file one two is nothing but the uh, combination of file one and file two right so i will go with the write mode because so the file doesn't exist here so if you open a file in a write mode the file will be created now i have to read the content from the file one and i have to insert that into the file three so for that purpose just uh, i will read the character ch is equal to in order to read the character it's a f get c of fp1 from file one one character will be read and we need to check whether the character is not equal to end of file because we know in a in a files concept so the last character will be the end of file right so we need to travel till it reaches to end of file so here you just write the file into the next the new file that is a f put c so f put c is a function to write the character into the file right f put c the character and the file pointer to which we need to write so here we need to write the file content 1 to file content 3 so fp3 is pointing towards the file 1 2 that is a new file so i will just go close and again keep uh, reading the characters from the first file right so fp1 at the end of this one so all the file content of one will be copied into the file two right so see I, I will write here some printf uh, here now after completion of this one so the file content of file uh, one has been copied to file one two, right so i'll just display a small message i'll display a small message so printf file one content copied successfully right now see i'll place a semicolon here also and here it is a print f right now after this one so the file one content was copied to file three now we have to start copying the file two to file one two so repeat the same thing repeat the same thing so print f so now uh, file two content is copying to file one two right so it was started now we will have to repeat the same thing so f get c of fp2 and check whether it ends with the end of file right so not equal to evof so it will return and it will uh, repeat the same instructions until it reaches the end of file right now f put c place the character inside the file pointer 3 right again read the character so we have to repeat the process until it reaches the end of file so repeat the process f get c of fp2 and close and after this we know that the file 2 content copied successfully right now you can close all the files so here itself you can close the file so after completion of this one so you can close the file f close of fp1 and after completion of the file 2 we can close the same thing right so f f close of fp2 and also close the file 3 fp3 or else you can simply use a f close all to close all the files right so return 0 and close save the file so i will use uh, file merge.c file merge.c so i'll compile 
so got some three errors yes so here it is a double quotations so i have yeah now you can observe only one error so what's the error semicolon missing yes now you can see again one warning is there okay incorrect assignment yeah it's not equal to no yes yes so you can observe so we have executed this one and uh, and you can see we have executed so we will observe here so file one and file two is there so file one two has been uh, generated and you can observe here the file one two is having a both the content right so this is a file one two and this is a file one and this is a file two so let us check this is a file two and uh, this is a file one and this is a file one two you can see so file one is having hi welcome to c programming file two is having welcome to demonstration of file emergency programming and here you can see the file one two is a output file which combines the content of file one and file two so hi welcome to c programming and welcome to demonstration of file emergency programming right so this is how you can merge a different contents uh, of different files to the a single file right so hope you understood this one and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much